Hello again, everyone. Chad Zwadlow here with part two of my advanced flow tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be focusing not on the vaults themselves, but instead on linking them together. For the most part, this means the footwork in the landings and takeoffs in between the vaults. At the end of the tutorial, we'll work on some fancy moves to add some style to your flow. Before working on these, make sure you have a solid grasp on everything from part one of my tutorial. With everything shown in part one, you should be able to vault from either direction, with either leg, going forwards or backwards. After you have all of these down, putting them together is pretty simple. Let's get started. The first of our combos will be a lazy vault to reverse lazy vault. For this combo, you will touch the ground only once on either side of the obstacle. Your trailing leg will swing all the way through to become the lead leg of your next vault. Try to keep your weight on your hands and balance directly over the obstacle at all times. Also, be sure to always practice both directions. Combo number two will be a safety to reverse safety. For this combo, you will touch the ground twice in between each vault. Keep your body facing perpendicular to the obstacle and do not spin. As you land, you simply lean over to the other side and switch hands on the obstacle to go back over. Again, remember to practice both directions. We've now covered a single step and a double step combo. You should never have to take more than two steps in between vaults for good flow work. However, you can take fewer than one step. A lazy vault to lazy vault without touching the ground is called a sit turn. Try to sit more on the back of your hamstrings and not on your butt. It should almost feel like you're going to tip over backwards. You use that momentum to swing yourself around. Again, try to practice this on both sides. You can also do a fancy variation on the sit turn by dropping your shoulder halfway through and rolling across your back. Kick your lead leg up nice and hard to make sure you get a good roll out. This roll can be landed on either side of your obstacle or even in a sitting position on your obstacle. Just play with it and you'll figure it out. Our next combo is technically a reverse lazy to reverse lazy without touching the ground on the other side, but that's complicated. Most of us just call it a palm spin. To get a good palm spin, be sure to jump nice and high while pushing with your arms to keep your weight on the inside of the obstacle. There are plenty of other good tutorials out there on this move, so I'm not going to get too into it, but I will say try to make sure to practice it going both directions. For this first palm spin variation, you really just do a turn vault landing on your back leg, then swing your front leg over the obstacle again. Hold your weight on your arms as long as possible, especially to do this over taller obstacles. The second variation is to do half of a palm spin landing on top of your obstacle. Again, this is really just a turn vault to a balancing position. Sometimes when I do this move, I like to try to keep spinning and see where I end up. It leads to some interesting combo possibilities. The coffee grinder is a basic breakdancing move that works beautifully in flow combos. I don't want to explain how to do it, you can learn that on your own. But I want to point out that in control, this move can be landed facing either direction on either side of your obstacle which means it can flow into any vault in any direction. You can also combo it from our palm spin variation and land in any direction. A 
Okay, there's really way too much stuff for me to try to cover, and this video is starting to get a little long. By now you should have some good ideas to work on. If you want more, I recommend learning some simple breakdancing or other similar movements and adapting them to your style. I also recommend playing games of add-on with your friends to learn different combos and variations. Basically, anything is possible, so get out there and start training.